Okay, this is the uh, J-Car voltage modifier kit that we use on the ZD30 uh, engine to uh, get rid of uh, limp. Okay, now you may find yourself with one and then down the track you may need to adjust it and you're not sure how. So, this is how I do it. Okay, now the first thing to remember is not to connect anything to this with power on it. Even the hand controller, if you connect the hand controller to it, quite often you'll find that the uh, the screen won't light up. It hasn't necessarily done any, any damage, it just doesn't like it. So uh, always connect with power off, then once you've got that on, there it is, and you'll see that that has come up. Okay, now in this here, you can press any button on there, except for that one, press any button on here and nothing happens. If you press that button, that puts you into view. You can check all the load points. And what happens is any button that's got a double arrow on it moves by four, backwards or forwards. Any button that has a single arrow on it goes up and down. So you can do anything you like there. And as you see, I'm scrolling through. You can see my map is changing. Okay, on the screen, we have input and output. Input is actually the load point, and there's about 255 of them. The output is the amount that we're changing the math voltage uh, to. Now, that number is derived from whatever voltage spread we're using on the unit, Divide that by 255, and that gives us a unit to go in there. So that'll be six of those units. Okay, when you wire this into your car, it should be wired up so that it has power when you're on accessories. That way you don't have to turn the engine on. You turn the accessories on, and you'll get power to this. Even though you have power going to this unit, there's a lead there. That lead is not lit up because the way we set them up is that we need 13 volts output from the alternator before it switches on here. So your map voltage will be a little bit higher at idle then once it's done switch on it'll drop down. Okay. Now if we want to make any adjustments this has to be turned on. So there is a, uh, a trick to it there's a unit here, the second blue thing down, uh, VR4 it's called. Now, the way that is set up, if I take that one turn, you'll see that that red LED has now come on. So that means there's power going through that and I can get it up on here. So we're in view. We're still going through with the load points on there, but we still can't change these. The reason for that is a locking pin in there. Now, I'll just put this aside. If I pull that locking pin out, and then just move it one to the side, you'll see that that has changed up there. And what that means is now that this is, uh, this is territory where you can do a lot of damage. So in the previous mode, with that lock pin in, have a play, spend five, 10 minutes, whatever, playing with these and getting used to uh, how the layout is and what you need to do. Now, when you've reached a point where you do want to adjust it, uh, and uh, let's just say uh, at around about 150 to 160 uh, load point, you're probably getting up close to around about two and a half thousand revs. So here you wanted to make a change from there. Right? We have that. So at load point 156 on plus four, if I want to make that plus five, Oh, sorry, if I want to make that plus five, I press the one, 
then I move to the next one, I press 1. I move to the next one, I press 1. All right, I'm going to take that back. All right. So, you'll see that, that at 155, I'm at plus 6, 156, I'm at plus 4, and it stays like that for a few. And that is where I'm looping around one of my load points, and then it goes back up again. Okay? So, the thing is, to get comfortable with it, with the locking pin on, so that you can't change anything, once you're comfortable with the movement, take the locking pin uh, off, and then it's, uh, it's fair game. Um, I think that covers pretty well all of it, just to, uh, to make sure. Don't connect anything with the power on. Um, if you start to play around in here and you short anything out accidentally, it's very easy to fry one of these. Even though they're a tough unit, it's pretty easy to fry um, with a short and then you'll be uh, really in trouble because uh, they're quite difficult to, uh, to troubleshoot unless you really know your electronics. Okay, so now I'm going to disconnect the power. I'm going to put the lock pin back over. Right. Connect the power again and you'll see that red LED came on. So get it ready and back in the car I'm going to screw that back down that one turn there that's one turn you'll notice that the LED stays on the reason for that is the fact that the um, the relay has switched so if I take that off and put that back on again you'll see it doesn't light up so guys that's about it um, just take your time with it and um, it's, it's fairly easy, but just take your time and get used to it before you remove that lock pin. Thanks, guys.